We're going to take a look at a decal problem called nest greater element number two. So this question is very similar to the nest greater element number one question. So I highly recommend to check out that question before this one. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the nest greater element for each and every single element that we have in the input array. But the input array this time is a circular integer array, right? So you can see the nest greater element number of each and every single element in the array is the first greater element to its traversing order nest in the array. So which means that you, sh you could search circularly to find the nest greater element. If it doesn't is exist, then return negative one for this number, right? So you can see here we have an example of one, two, one. So one, the nest greater element in this case is two. So we put two at this position. And then for number two, right, the nest greater element is just gonna be negative one because in this case, there's no element that are greater than the current element, right? And then one, in this case, uh, we can ser search circularly, right? So we loop back. And in this case, what we can do is that the nest greater element in this case is basically two, right? So in this case, um, you can see here, we also have another example, right? We have something like this. So the nest greater element for one is two, two is, the, the nest greater element for two is three, the nest greater element for three is four, right? Right, so four at this position. And then that's greater element for four. In this case, even though if we search circularly, right, it still is nothing, right? There's no element that are greater than four, so we put negative one here. And then for three, then that's greater element is four, right? So we just loop back, we circular, or we circle, circle back, and then the next greater element in this case is four, right? So you can see here the constraints is that we're we're guaranteed to have at least one element in the array, and then for each and every single element, we could have a negative value, we could have a positive value, right? So in this case, how can we be able to solve this problem? To solve this problem, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do very similar to what we did in nest greater element number one. So we're gonna use a monotonic stack to solve this problem. Basically, a monotonic stack is like a stack, but we're just basically keeping the ordering of each and every single element that we have in our stack in a increasing order or a decreasing order, right? So let me show you why we should use this. So let's say we have, this is our input array. Uh, we're starting from the first index, right? From the first element that we have in our array. And then what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have our result array that's, that's what we're gonna return at the end, right? We're gonna return the result array at the end, basically filled with each and every single element's nest greater element, right? So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna have our stack and then we start at the first element. So if the stack is empty, we just insert it right onto the stack. And then um, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna move on to the next element. In this case, the next element is two, right? Sorry, we should, we're gonna insert the index of each and every single element onto the stack. So in this case, for element one has an index zero, so we insert it onto stack, uh, so we insert it zero, right, onto the stack. Um, so what we're going to do is that once we visit this element, in this case, this element is actually greater than the top elements, right, that we have on our stack. In this case, nums at zero, right, so the current element, right, if the current num is greater, right, is greater than nums at stack.peak, So in this case, if that's the case, then what we're gonna do is that we're going to pop the top element off of the stack. And then we're gonna say result at index zero is actually gonna be the current num, right? Because we just found the nest greater element for the top element that we have on our stack. So we pop that out, right? And then we're gonna say for this, for index zero and result is gonna be two, right? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our element, well, our pointer one to the right. So, but before that we have to, uh, insert this element's index onto the stack because we haven't found the next greater element for this current element, right? So in this case, it's gonna be index one. So what we're gonna do then is we're gonna move our pointer one to the right. So we have element four. Element four is bigger than the top element that we have on our stack, right? In this case, nums, uh, nums at one is basically two. So in this case, two is less than four. So we just say at index one, the next greater element is four. Okay, we pop that element off the stack, okay? And then we move our pointer one to the right, but before that, we are going to add this current element's index, in this case is two, onto the stack because we haven't found the next greater element for this element, right? So we move our pointer one to the right. And the reason why we are using the stack this time is because we want to find the most recent, the most up-to-date, the most um, nearby greater element, right? 
So in this case, we have to use the stack to be able to, to, to find the last element that we inserted, right? That we haven't find the next greater element, right? So we can be able to compare. So the next element is three. So three in this case is actually less than, uh, it's, it's actually less than four, right? Or less than num set two. So in this case, we just have to add this element onto the stack because we because three is less than four, right? It's not greater than four. If it's greater than four, then we find the next greater element for four. But in this case, it's not. So we have to put that on the stack. So in this case, we have two elements that we have not find the next greater element. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna circle back. We're gonna um, do our one more iteration, right? For next greater element number one question, we probably can just return this result array, right? But the thing is that in this case, we have to find, we can be able to circle back, we can be able to search circularly, right? To find um, the next greater element, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, we're gonna start over, right? We're gonna iterate one more time. So basically total, total we iterate the nums array two times. So in this case, one, we're basically trying to find the next greater element on, for the top element that we have on our stack, right? So this is our top element that we have on our stack. So in this case, we basically iterate. So one is, le is less than three, two is less than three, four is not less than three. So in this case, we're going to uh, pop the top element off the stack. So num set three is basically three, right? Four is bigger than three. So in this case, uh, four is basically the next greater element for index three, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna move our pointer one to the right. So the top element that we have is basically four, right? So you can see that before that, before that you can see that our stack is in the increasing order, right? So this is our top element on our stack. This is our, this is our, um, this is our, uh, the next element, right? So in this case, you can see that we have a de uh, increasing order or decreasing order. Doesn't matter how you say it, but basically you can see that it's basically sorted, right? So you know that the top element is always less than the, um, the the lower elements that we have on our stack. So you can see that what, what we're gonna do then is that we're going, we know that we moved our pointers one to the right. So in this case, this element is not greater than, in this case, nums at two. So therefore we move our pointer one to the right and now it's out of bound. So you can see that therefore we just leave it as negative one, right? In this case, we cannot find it. So at the end, we just return this integer array. So in the code, basically we um, we do exactly that, right? So in this case, we have a stack to the structure. We have our result array, which has a size of nums. We fill, initially we filled the result array with negative one. And then we add all the nest element for each element onto the result array. But if there is uh, if there is an element that we haven't find the next greater element, of course it will it will be kept on the stack. So then what we have to do is we just have to circle back and we just do a one more loop, right? Try to find an element that's greater than the top element that we have on our stack. If it is, then we just pop it out and then result at current index is equal to num, right? So current num is basically the next greater element. Okay. So in this case, we just put that there in our result array. And then if the stack is empty, we can just break out of the loop and then we just return a result, right? So it's pretty simple. And as you can see that the time complexity in this case is gonna be big O of N, where N is number of elements that we have in our, in our integer array, right? And then the space complexity is also gonna be big O of N where we are using a stack to keep the elements, right? And the worst case scenario, we're inserting each and every single elements onto the stack, right? Where for example, let's say we have like five, four, three, two, one in our input array. Then we basically inserting five, four, three, two, one onto the stack. So therefore the space complexity is basically gonna be big old fit, right? So there you have it and thank you for watching.